Crepe myrtles are known around the South for their beautiful blooms, but some in the Triangle may not bloom so beautifully this year. Yeah, an insect known for infesting the trees has made its way to Wake County. CBS 17's Maggie Newland live to explain. And Maggie, you've seen this firsthand. It's kind of gross. It's definitely kind of gross, Angela and Ross. Now, last year, this park was full of flowering crepe myrtles. This year, totally different story. There is not a flower in sight. And take a close look at these trees. They are covered with little white insects and mold. While some crepe myrtles in the triangle will catch your eye with their colorful blooms, the trees at this North Raleigh Park are striking for a different reason. What we find on the trunks of the trees is crepe myrtle scale. Fuzzy white bugs crawl along the tree trunks. Sticky mold covers the leaves and surrounds the base of the tree. It won't kill it, but it won't look ugly. Louise Romanoff is an entomologist and master gardener volunteer with the Wake County Extension. She says the master gardener's phone line first received calls about crepe myrtle scale in Wake County last summer. She says it doesn't spread quickly, but it does spread from tree to tree. And it isn't just affecting crepe myrtles. There are a number of plants that we know that it is now attacking. We, we don't know to what extent it will damage them. If you see signs of scale on your trees, she says you can use a systemic insecticide which soaks into the dirt. But she warns that will kill all insects that feed on the tree, including bees and other pollinators. You can also spray the tree with an insecticidal soap or horticultural oil. Any kind of spray would have to be re applied repeatedly. If all else fails, she says the tree can be pruned down to a few branches, which would need repeated spraying. As for the black sticky stuff under the tree and coating the leaves, it's black sooty mold that grows on a sticky substance the scale produces. I have seen black sooty mold cover furniture so you cannot tell what color it is. She says the best way to take care of that is to simply wash it off with water. And here's a little bit of that sooty mold on one of the leaves there. You see it does come off pretty easily, but yes, pretty gross when you think about it. Now, for more information on how you can take care of your trees if you have to deal with this, we have it on our website, cbs17.com. We're live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.